Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for today's video, which is going to be a bit of a vlog stroke point of view footage of me covering a Tuesday night match under the lights um, in the Papa John's Trophy here in the UK, uh, or in England, sorry. It is Trammy Rovers versus Oldham Athletic, and this match took place, uh, I think, two weeks ago, maybe three. Um, apologies, it's taken a couple of weeks for me to find the time to edit this together. Not all of the footage is going to be great in this, I apologise for that, obviously I'm carrying equipment, I've got um, a ton of different things to be doing and be aware of. Uh, I've also managed to get some point of view action by sticking a GoPro on top of the camera um, for a brief part before the match kicks off, so hopefully that'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it, any comments, uh, please add them in below. Okay, so I've arrived at the ground now. Uh, typically, as you can probably see from the shot as I was leaving the house, it is now raining um, and my interior light's gone off. Let me let me see if I can pop that back on again. Uh, it is now raining, um, absolute textbook British football season weather. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get waterproofs on, get my boots on, uh, as in my waterproof boots, not my full pop boots, uh, and then we'll get the gear and head into the ground. Look at that. Lovely night for it. Okay, so at this point, I am making my way down to the ground and this is the usual way you will go in if you are photographing at Prenton Park. Obviously, you will need to collect your accreditation beforehand, but then you enter through the, I think it's called the Bebbington Paddock turnstile. You go through the side entrance here and it's a pretty easy way of getting access to the pitch you basically walk past this uh, refreshment truck on the left here straight down a ramp and that brings you out of pitch side so you can see already this night with the glare off the floodlights and that weird kind of um drizzly rain that was hanging in the air it was, the visibility was pretty poor um and something i actually use quite a bit this night i don't use very often at all but in lightroom when i'm just touching the pictures up a little bit there's a dehaze function that was added I think a year or two ago and it's really useful for just especially if you've got older cameras like myself just lifting some of this kind of hazy background off the images and I'll show you that in just a second. Ordinarily when you get to a game at this point the obvious thing to do is get a few snaps of the teams warming up. Uh, you may also need to add your lineups into um, photo mechanics for your code replacements if you can get hold of a team sheet. And for any photographers watching this who are due to shoot at Prenton Park or might find themselves here, usually there will be a steward in and around the tunnel area uh, and they will provide a team sheet for you. So I just captured a handful of shots of warm up here for this game sorry if you prefer this without me talking over the top but i've had to turn the volume of the actual video right down and kind of talk over it just so youtube's copyright uh, filters don't pick up the soundtrack that or the songs that are being played in the stadium on the tannoy So here are the two teams coming out onto the pitch then as you can see and with all the stands there behind being pretty much empty it was just an opportunity to try and maybe get a little bit closer head and shoulders as some of these players turn around to applaud the fans and capture a couple of shots with that murky rain in the background and then when I knelt down here just a very quick snap of the teams lining up. Obviously with that background how it is I did use that dehaze function Lightroom I mentioned um, and I will drop that tutorial for that program within the next week or so. And then I basically hang around to the side of the dugout here waiting for the manager to come out for the home team, Tramia's manager, Mickey Mellon. Um, just waiting for him to get ready here. He always comes to, to applaud the fans at home games. So he usually go on the pitch to do that to the three sides of the ground at home stands. Um, but here obviously only one stand open. He just very quickly goes off to the side and applauds them and waves to them there. Uh, nice easy shots for me. And then what he does is he goes and stands side on here. And I keep this angle. A lot of photographers actually have this angle for the um, shooting down past the dugouts for these manager shots. Because there's a little street light uh, you might see just in the distance there, just outside. And that can be a nice little blurred um, background effect with, with the bokeh or the bokeh. Um, 
in the background of your photo, but you do get some lovely shots, especially in the rain, of the managers, and, and here's one on screen right now. Then it's a case of grab my stuff and make my way down the touchline. So then it's a dash to the shooting position I usually take up here, which when Tramia are shooting down this end of the stadium is actually just behind the hoardings in the first row of the stand. As you can see, there is a ton of space here, so it's a pretty good shooting position. So once the game's underway, you'll see I've got both cameras out and ready to shoot here. What I'm also doing here, and, and crucial on a night like this weather-wise, is to get the eye cap set up. And if you're not familiar with the eye cap, it's basically a little tent that pops up and you can put your laptop in it to keep it nice and dry uh, when the weather is not being very helpful to you. Uh, it's also useful in the summer, by the way, not just in the rain and the hail and the snow, but also in the summer when it's really bright, it can just give you a nice uh, dark area in which to put your laptop so you can see your screen and see a little bit better what you're working on. As you'll see in a second as well, it's also perfect for popping a GoPro in when you're trying to record yourself for making a YouTube video. about 15 minutes into this one, um, Oldham have got the early goal, they lead 1-0. Um, I'm sitting in first row of the stands trying to hide from a bit of this rain. It is easing a little bit I think, so not too bad. Um, not too many great shots yet, but I'll, I'll share on screen ones as and when I get them. Alright, so as you may have gathered there, Tramia got a goal back right on half time. Uh, so it was Oldham. Sorry, Tramia won, Oldham two. Uh, the goal was a bit of a scramble uh, at the far post, or not a scramble, kind of a ricochet on the way in. Thankfully, it was right in front of me, so I should have some good shots of it. I'll, uh, I'll give them an edit now. Then, what we'll do is we'll make our way up to the other end for the second half, and shoot kind of same position behind the goal off to the side. Um, shooting down what will be Trammy's right wing this time, so mixing up a bit like that. So uh, we'll make our way up there in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I have now changed ends and the second half has got underway. It is still raining. Uh, but the great thing about shooting towards Trammy's cop end, there's a bit more runoff at the end of the pitch. And ordinarily, certainly most of this season, up until this past weekend actually, and it's still being clarified, but photographers can actually sit in front of the wall so you're really close to the action you get some great um, unobstructed views of the goal and you get some great celebration shots as well uh, so you can see by the guy turning the corner behind me here just how close to the action you are and it, it really makes a massive difference as well it also gives me an opportunity to use my own telescopic stool that you can see me sitting on then that does very well to support my weight these are brilliant by the way so if you haven't already gotten what i'll do is i'll leave a link in the description to that and also the icap laptop tent i mentioned earlier um two great bits of kit that that i use pretty much every game certainly through the winter uh, both bits of equipment will be used as that laptop tent really comes into its own so again uh, one thing about this end of the ground is you go up and down a stadium uh, sorry up and down a country to stadiums lower down the leagues and certainly into the amateur game you'll notice floodlights just aren't even so this end of the pitch the goal mouth is not as well lit as the one at the other end uh, and the wings are also shockingly dark as well uh, so you take that into consideration when shooting from the cop end here at Tramia. 
Second half was a great half. I don't manage to record any audio into the camera, I don't think. But Tramia, who were 2 0 down at one point in the first half, do actually come back to win this game three goals to two. And I'll share those photos while this footage continues on screen right now. As you can see, when the weather is so bad like it is here, these little laptop tents are so useful to have with you. And if you are having to wire images to an agency or send them to a client while out in conditions like this, you really need to get hold of one of these. And so that was it for this game. It finished 3-2, as I said. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to like or subscribe to the channel uh, or drop a comment below. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you on the next video.